What do we got here? I got a program from the 1932 championship game between the Chicago Bears and Portsmouth Spartans. What the hell happened to it? Looks like it was smoldering. <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to try to sell the Chicago Bears versus Portsmouth Spartans 1932 championship game program. I want to sell it in order to make enough money to help restore some posters that I have. I feel it's worth $5,000, but I'd be willing to take $2,500. So where'd you get it? I got the program from a, a nephew of an employee of the Chicago Bears. He got the collection from his uncle. OK. And all the programs that I've seen have been in the Bears office fire in the early 1960s. This is the day where you know, professional football was almost like professional wrestling. There was probably 100 different leagues in every state. And the Spartans, I mean, they were kind of a cool team. They're from Portsmouth, Ohio, which even back then was a small town for a football team. They got invited to join the NFL, which actually had some kind of regulation. Yeah. Three years later, they got bought up by some guy in Detroit and changed to the Lions. Back in 1932, the Portsmouth Spartans and the Chicago Bears finished the season in a tie for first place. That had never happened before, so the NFL had a championship game. The championship game got the fans really fired up, so they kept it. This is the most important game in the history of the NFL. That would be really debatable, the most important game. No, this game... First Super been... Bowl? No. It, without this game, you wouldn't have the Super Bowl. You wouldn't have the rule changes or the interest in the NFL that grew. So you mind if I take a look at it? No, go ahead. Have you seen anything like this before? I have to say, I've never seen one. You're not going to see another one. I only know of seven in existence. There's one in the Hall of Fame. Their program is burned worse than this one. So what do you want to do with it? I want to sell it. I think we should call Jeremy on this thing right here. I got this. You sure about this? If it was me, I would definitely get a second opinion on this thing. But I've been trying to give Corey a longer leash on making deals lately. I just hope he doesn't blow it and lose us a bunch of money in the process. I'll offer you like two grand on it. Nah, there's four Hall of Famers on the Bears team alone. I think it's, you know, well worth 5,000. Okay, I, and I'll I, tell you what I do. I'll take, uh, I'll take three. Let me pay you 2,500 for it. It would have to go through an auction. You sure you're gonna do this? The corners are still sharp on the ones that are left. The rosters are complete. $27.50. Yeah, $27.50. Deal. All right, let's go do some paperwork. I'm really happy that we were able to come to an agreement. I knew the offer of $2,000 was way too low. The historical significance of this program, you know, demanded that it come up more than that. The guys usually call me down to the pawn shop anytime they have a piece of sports memorabilia or a car that they need some help with. My dad wants to know why I bought an old burnt football program. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, you see an 80-year-old program burnt to a crisp. You wouldn't think too much of it, but this thing is actually very significant. The NFL at this time it was still in its infancy. Originally, the game was supposed to take place at Wrigley Field. There's a horrific blizzard. They were forced to move into an indoor venue. They picked Chicago Stadium. Now, this was a complete disaster. <laughs> The field is 20 yards too short, 10 yards too narrow. Anytime a player would reach midfield, you had to go back 20 yards to make the field length equal 100 yards. The floor was just concrete. They took a bunch of dirt, sawdust, and elephant manure and just pretty much layered the floor with it to soften the ground. The game forever changed the way that the NFL would be played. After the season, the NFL was split into two divisions so you could have a true championship game. Programs that are this old have a very narrow market just because the generation who appreciates these are kind of dwindling as years go on. What separates the good from the garbage with programs is condition. Okay. Well, obviously the condition is pretty rough here. It's burned completely around the left side of it. That being said, because of the sudden venue change, it's my belief that they never distributed any of these. They sat in a box for 30 plus years. It's likely very few of these were salvaged from the fire. This thing is actually the holy grail of uh, football programs. Okay. They just never come available on the secondary market. Anybody looking for these would go absolutely nuts. How much are you into it for? $27.50. $27.50. So a very conservative number, since these are so rare, I wouldn't be surprised if you got 10 k for this thing. Excuse me? 10000 bucks. These are so rare, they don't come up. If somebody wants it for their collection, they're going to jump on it. Sweet. Normally, an 80-year-old program that's been burned to a crisp, you wouldn't think too much of it, but this program is actually very significant. You're the best, man. Thanks hey, a lot. You got it, man. Now that I know it's worth three times what I paid for it, I'm going to do a little bit of gloating. I got to go rub something in a few people's faces back at the pawn shop. <laughs> 
Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.